Well, that's probably but about if we right just, then. But if we simply taxed at the same level that John Howard did, there'd be about an extra $20 billion a year to spend. And that would mean... I think you've you already spent it But that, would, what you that would mean you could fund education and schools without having to take $2 billion off universities. I mean, that's robbing Peter to pay Paul. Well, OK, I'm just going to go down to the other end of the panel. I want correct. to hear from other panelists, and we'll go to Janet Albrickson first. Um, I think this, the answer to the first question, and I'll come to the second in a moment, um, was best described by the boss of AMP this uh, week, or the past week, when he said that we've basic, uh, the Australian economy is now more vulnerable than it's ever been, and we've basically spent our ammunition, and we don't have much to show for it. You know, that, that's the great challenge for Australia. And I think, you know, as, as voters, we need to be expecting more from our politicians because, boy, they get away with a lot. And until we start demanding that they deal with the structural deficits facing this country, nothing will be done. Until we start saying to Penny Wong and Chris Pine, tell us how you're going to deal with the deficits, how are you going to pay off the debt, nothing will be done. And, you know, the problem is actually not for us in this audience. The problem is for our children and the children of our children. They're the ones who are going to be left paying, paying the debt. And I think it's pretty reckless to be, to be endowing uh, on the next generation um, an enormous bill in, in terms of what we're facing. And, you know, Penny... You should try living within your means. The government has not lived within its means. You have spent more than you've received. You've done it on the basis of forecasts that have been consistently wrong. I went through the last four budgets that you've been finance minister of. If you add up all of the incorrect forecasts, you're the $106 billion woman. Now, that's not an accounting error. Right? That's not an accounting error. Okay. Let me suggest that uh, that is someone uh, who is not saying, should we be more prudent here? Should we perhaps, if, if the forecasts have been consistently wrong, should we perhaps spend a little bit less just in case the forecasts are wrong again? Well, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to go back to the floor for a question on this, topic, to on this topic. Could I not respond to that? On this topic, yes, you'll get your opportunity because this question is on that topic. <laughs>